Hey folks, thanks for being here. Uh, just figured out I'd do this video uh, following up on the um, last one on the NAM uh, calibrated profiles, which was pretty well received in the community on the forums. And today we're going to talk about stacking uh, NAM profiles, right? So stacking, putting an overdrive uh, profile in front of an AMP profile or putting an overdrive profile in front of a preamp profile and then daisy chaining that into a power AMP profile. So pretty exotic use cases, but um, there are profiles of these uh, these types in uh, the community on Tone 3000 and other places. So I'd figure I, I'd take a little bit of time to show you how to get the best of them, um, right? Um, to make the most of them. Now, before we do anything else, uh, just as we discussed in the previous vid, you want to make sure you get your maximum input gain rating of your interface. You know, write it down, figure it out, turn your gain knob on the instrument input down. And let's get started. Right here in Reaper, I only have a DI, so no effects over here. This is just my guitar. Boring, dry, nothing fancy, right? So let's just, first and foremost, let's get NAM running, right? So I'm just gonna add a NAM instance over here. Right, so we have NAM, right? But, still nothing nothing going right it's still a di so what we have to do to get you know guitar sounds out of it we have to load an amp profile and if it's an, uh, a di a direct nam profile of an amp you have to get the um <laughs> you have to get an ir an impulse response loaded as well right so i'm just gonna you know pick a profile of uh, one from one of my packs i'm just gonna go with um the uh, Marshall that's been recently released, uh, as in recently today. <laughs> uh, and I'm just gonna get something that has a little bit of rasp to it. Now, by itself, this profile might sound a little bit like harsh because it's a DI, it's a direct profile, and it doesn't have a cabinet, so brace yourself. <laughs> Right, that nah, doesn't sound pleasant at all. So what you, do, you have to do, after, uh, if you load the I profiles, direct profiles, you have to get an IR loaded. If you have IRs, and pre pretty much everybody does, you can just use the NAM plugin to load them up over here. So just make sure that this spot is enabled, this section is enabled. Click on the folder, and let's, um, let's just grab an IR. And I'm gonna pick one of the ads uh, IRs. Uh, Cali OS, top right, I'm just gonna go with a simple SM57, um, let's see. It already sounds like a guitar, a mic top guitar amplifier, probably not the tone that you're going for, but nevertheless a guitar tone, right? It's It sounds like an amp being mic'd up. Right, so let's make sure that we have calibration enabled. So to do that, um, I'm just gonna disable the CQ first uh, and I'm just gonna disable the noise gate uh, or leave it on. Uh, maybe get it over there. So to make sure that you're leveraging the calibration information that's cooked within this profile, just go here to the wheel, to the sprocket, type in your, max, your interface's maximum input gain, the one that we talked about, so mine is uh, 13.195. I'm just gonna enable this. O otherwise, if you don't click uh, on the calibrate input button, it you know calibration won't, won't take effect. Um, the output mode over here, because this is an, an amp, and let me just rename this. Make sure that uh, right. It just makes more sense to me because it's gonna get woolly as we <laughs> start walking through these things. And I'm just gonna enable the output mode and set it to normalize because if I scroll through profiles and they're at different loudness uh, levels, uh, reamped at different loudness levels, uh, if one of them is louder than the others uh, and I have my system volume adjusted to cater to the lower ones, this louder one that I might scroll through and find out would probably blow my ears off. So leaving the normalize feature on is pretty much going to even out everything in terms of loudness, perceived loudness uh, at your end. Right, so... <laughs> All 
right. Sounds good. Sounds bad. Whatever. Uh, sounds like an app. Now, if you have other IRs or tools that you like to use, I for one also like to use the uh, Dynacaps from Fracto. What you can do is you can daisy chain that after the NAM instance, but you want to make sure you disable the IR block and the NAM plugin. So click on this button over here, right? Uh, you can all out the IR as well, but I also like to disable it and you can just add um, a new instance over here. Maybe this is your cab loader. Um, right, and I'm just gonna get this cab, which I really like. It's pretty much the same cab as that one behind me, the Mesa cab, like the oversized trait uh, that Justin York uses. Uh, pretty much down to the year and the vintage of the on the uh, speakers. So I've just added one of the uh, ribbon mics over here, or my favorite, my all-time favorite, the uh, SM58. <laughs> Alright, now, this is with my guitar volume, you know, all the way up on the bridge pickup. Uh, say I want a little bit more gain, I like the I like how the profile sounds, but I want to boost its fr uh, the front end, right? Maybe I want to use a boost pedal. Um, and let me just bring this over here into perspective. Uh, you could also, I mean, if you really want to boost the profile, but you just leverage a clean boost, you can boost, you use the input trim, it's pretty much the exact same thing as if you're, you, you'd be using a clean, uh, clinically, surgically clean <laughs> uh, boost, right? So. Right, you can you can use that by all means. I mean, it, sometimes it works better than any other pedal that you can find out there. But for the sake of our video today, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna add another instance of NAM. Right, I'm just gonna move this up upstream right so up uh, right before the amplifier and I'm just gonna rename this so I you know we have things in perspective Nam, and I'm just gonna say pedal right um, over here because it's a pedal I'm gonna disable the IR block so if I don't have anything loaded it's fine but I'm still gonna disable it just for sake uh, you know for <laughs> being safe I'm um, just gonna leave the noise gate on um, and this is very important, this piece over here. I'm just going to load, and let me just load the, the boost panel, right? Uh, I'm just going to go over here, NAMM stuff, uh, profiles, and I think, and the Marshall and the Freedman packs that I released recently, I have, well, not the Freedman, the Badlander. Um, if you go over here, there's an OD section. I'm just going to get, um, uh, let's go with the clown style boost, right? It goes over with the Marshall. Um, all right, and this is where the magic happens. Uh, go into the settings option on the plugin. Uh, check this calibrate imp calibrate the input. <laughs> Type in the same value that you used on the amplifier, right? So over here, if you right, and make sure that on the pedal. Uh, so we're on the NAM pedal uh, instance. You have the output mode set to calibrate it. Now there's a lot of information, as I said, over here in this article, but if you click on this picture, Steve kind of pretty much you know, lays it down visually so everybody else can see it. Uh, so I'm, I'm, if you're a visual learner, um, this picture you know, kind of you know, encompasses everything that I, I've, I want to show over here. Um, right, but if you just really want to see it done in action, I mean, that's pretty much how you do it. You load the pedal profile, like the boost, uh, enable the uh, calibrated input, key in your maximum interface, maximum input gain on your interface, set the output mode to calibrate it, and on the amp amplifier, or on the uh, next NAM instance in the chain, enable the calibrate input, key in the value, and because this is an amplifier, so it's pretty much the last, uh, the last plugin in the chain, if you would, um, I'm just gonna set the output mode to normalized, right? And let's see how it sounds. If I disable the pedal,
All right, so you get the gist. Uh, it's it's doing its thing. It's adding a lot of fullness, a lot of gain uh, to the uh, amps input. Um, the good thing about amp profiles is that they clean up superbly well with uh, the volume knob. So I'm just gonna you know strike a chord and I'm just gonna roll down the volume on my guitar. All right, so you'll see. So it's pretty wild. All right, now let's um, let's get crazy. All right. So how about uh, I rename this to Nam? Let's say preamp. All right. And I'm just gonna add another instance, and I'm gonna move it in between the preamp and the IR. All right. And I'm just gonna rename this to NAM power amp. All right. So, um, because right the way we did things before, because the preamp uh, goes into the power amp profile, I'm just gonna switch the output mode from normalized to calibrated because I want the gain staging to be properly uh, to take effect. Um, all right. So I'm just gonna go over here. I'm just going to move it to calibrated. So the pedal is using calibrated for the output, going into the preamp, and the preamp uh, also has a calibrated output going into the power amp. Right. Uh, let's make sure this one has. And for the last one in the chain, because this is going to be the power amp, um, I'm just going to use the normalized output mode. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to load up um preamp profile All right so at the packs that I usually do um if the amp has an effects loop a, a, a proper a good effects loop um I usually provide amp di and mic up um well recently I also try to mic do mic up profiles for rig profiles uh but I also uh, split the profiles or tap the uh, effects loop to get the preamp profiles, the preamp only, and the power amp as well, leveraging the FX send and FX return. So we can actually combine various preamps of, let's say, the preamp of a Marshall with the power amp of a PRS MT100, Mark Tremonti, and I'm just going to showcase uh, that right now. So let's go with a, uh, this preamp. This is based on... Um, the JCM 800. This is dialed in after Yuga's Valo Virta. <laughs> I hope I got it right. Uh, bad boy amp. Uh, all right. So this is the preamp, but we don't have the power amp. So load it just yet. So I'm just gonna disable the IR because we already have an IR block uh, or an IR plugin over there. Just gonna select a power amp profile. I'm just gonna go into my own. Profiles folder and PRS MT100 6L6. Let's go with uh, power amp, power amp, power amp. I'm just gonna go with this one over here. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> So we now have NAM, three, three NAM profiles, you know, three NAM profiles daisy chained. So a NAM profile of a pedal going into a NAM profile of a Marshall preamp, a JCM800 modified preamp, going into a NAM profile of the PRS MT100. I can change that around if I want to. So I can go into the preamp and maybe I can load up, um, Let's see, I have, where's uh, the Meshuga preamp? 
the salvation audio unnamed the fourteen sugar preamp. So I'm just gonna get one of these guys. Right, and this is going feeding into the pre the power amp of the PRS MT one hundred. Let's see if it cleans up all right. you know another power amp so maybe I can use the uh, power amp of the uh, Friedman uh, the B100 lux so let's go uh, look at the Friedman and just gonna go power amp and I'm just gonna pick whichever doesn't necessarily matter let's see <laughs> Cat links. Let's see. Where's the links? One angry amp. Let's disable the boost. Take down the out the noise gate over here, and just playing around with the volume knob on, on the guitar. That's it. And picking softly on the bridge pickup. well as long as the profiles have this metadata it's properly measured and embedded into the profiles I mean you can mix and match you can go wild with these things and it's pretty cool right so um, that pretty much covers it I'm not just I'm not gonna go on for too long um, if you wanna see uh, you know just get uh, some good profiles you can go to tone3000.com um, a lot of good stuff over here, and uh, if you want to, you know, figure out which profiles have that uh, piece of information, the calibration uh, metadata, you can um, just go here under technical and just flip the switch to calibrate it, and you're pretty much going to be presented with uh, the list of profiles that have this piece of information over there. So uh, that's. Uh, pretty much it, much it. Thanks for taking the time to be here and I hope this information has um, been useful. Cheers. Take care. Bye. <laughs>